Mr. Casey Graphics right along and road ran into River City Speedway in Grand Forks, uh, North Dakota. Uh, getting back on Interstate 29, just went and got the pain uh, on the edge of town here at the Flying J. We're going to hop on Interstate 29 going north just for a little bit. And our exit's up here. Uh, for a second time this year in Grand Forks, uh, to race up River City Speedway. Um, we've been doing that ever since I've been on the road, and Grand Forks has become one of my favorite uh, towns to hang out with. And it has a lot to do with the people up here. Uh, I guess some great friends in this town. Looking forward to uh, hanging out with them, showing out for a few days. That's why we come out. Off to your right here is the Alaris Center. Alaris or Alaris, I'm not sure how they say it. Our friends Whiskey Myers just played there not too long ago. Wish we would have been in town for the bats. Uh, we've some course set up in that one a lot there. We've seen that before that's the Of course, uh, this is the big college town, the University of North Dakota, right in the middle of town here. And River City Speedway is in town as well. Definitely exciting racetrack. Alright, this is our exit coming up right here. We're not too far away from the speedway and the fairgrounds. It's right up the street. This is also home of Parrots K. I cannot wait to get some wings at Parrots K this week. I'll also be on the uh, Grand Fork's Best Resource Dirty Thursday podcast uh, this Thursday coming up. I'll uh, post about that. Looking forward to getting back on the, on the podcast with John Roberts. Uh, this will be my fourth time on the podcast. I believe uh, I'll be in there with Dynamite Mark Dobmeyer. So looking forward to that. So make sure you tune in. They're on Facebook. You can watch it right there. I believe it's... Uh, Thursday at 11 o'clock is when it goes on. I'll verify that and post something about it, but that's Central Time Zone. As you can hear, I barely have my voice, so not the need for me. Three days at the Jackson Motor Club, so a full, full week at the Knoxville Nationals, I'll do it to you. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can get into the track, and uh, I'm not going to the arch this time, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But there's people that camp out here, I believe, all summer long, so you can at least go in by the prison, over by the Broken Drum, and another favorite place of mine here. And uh, that's probably where Chewie and I will grab some dinner. Once we're parked and we got our houses set up for, for the, uh, the night. Probably won't drop my trailer right away, so we'll uh, set up temporary somewhere. close now and uh, we've done a lot of ride-alongs into this track so if you're new to this one enjoy again uh, River City Speedway on the fairgrounds here got a lot of fun things to do here in Grand Forks uh, I like to spend the week here and uh, that's why we come early get some laundry done get some supplies get a haircut everything's here that we need we got great friends here that do a lot for us and they don't go on notice for sure. Uh, it's Sunday and it's uh, it's like fall weather outside here in Grand Forks. It's on the chilly side. I don't know. I haven't looked at the weather, so I'm not sure what it looks like come Friday for race day. Not complaining. It's not cold, but it, it feels good and definitely feels like fall weather. So we're either going to go uh, through this intersection and go to the next one and take a left and come in, or we're going to turn up here at Gateway, Gateway Sports and go into the arch. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but to see if the arch is open. I'm not sure if they have to get there or not. Greg right over at Gateway Sports, if you got a golf cart or a scooter, that's the guy to see. Um, I usually, when I'm in town, I have some things on my Honda Ruckus and 
he doesn't know it yet, but I got something for him to do this week, so we'll be seeing Greg. He's a good dude. This is also home of Katie Stoss. And Katie, as you know, works for me on the Living Like Outlaws uh, social media. She does uh, a very nice job of putting videos together for us and editing them and making me look like a champ. So we really appreciate having Katie. And so we'll get to see her, hopefully do some dinner with her. We're going to go in the arch here. This way. Got a go kart truck over to the right there that kids run. I think their season is over. It looks scary like when we go into this thing, but we'll get under it. It's all good. Don't panic. Doesn't look like they had any kind of rain here. A little bit. There's some puddles. Rained a little bit, uh, just a little bit while we were. On our way over here, so nothing major. But there you have it, River City Speedway, right in front of you. Um, great racing here, so I hope you tune in. Love to see you out here. We're gonna park down here. And just set up temporary home until we figure out where we're actually gonna park our trailers, because uh, they're changing some things up for us here. And Thanks for riding along on the KC Graphics Live up Ride Along and Road Random. Make sure you check out KC Graphics on Facebook. Give them a like. Give them a follow. Uh, great people. Uh, do a lot for me and I uh, appreciate them very much. You guys have a good one.